What's going on guys, it's Idea Review. Now today we're back and we're playing um, the same game as we were playing yesterday, Retail Tycoon, and now we joined a server which is kind of crazy. I mean if you come over to this guy's store called Belmore or whatever, it's like, look at all these vehicles first off, and look at this store. It's open like <clears throat> for anyone. In the middle there's like all this storage without any walls or anything, there's like managers working. All this other stuff, but there's like no walls to like keep people from going out. Either that or I'm lagging. I'm pretty sure I might be lagging, but yes, yeah, so this is actually pretty. I, f I found this pretty crazy. Uh, I found this to be pretty crazy, like without any walls. Now I'm lagging really bad. You know how my internet is, guys. I can't play games like Phantom Forces or anything like that, like Apocalypse Rising, because of my internet connection. It's actually complete crap, and when I do find a game that I like, like Retail Tycoon, I have to bear with the lag. Now, as you can see, we, um, the game didn't auto-save last time, which was really, really annoying for me to find out, because I joined the, I rejoined the game, I loaded the, um, I loaded my thing, and it didn't, it didn't have what I had yesterday, so I had to rebuy this thing over here. I don't think I have the land on the left, on the right side of my uh, store, so that's a that's kind of a bummer. But what I did do is I bought a couple of iPhones to um, to put on here. And it looks like someone bought one, which is actually which is actually pretty cool. Now the food's running out. Um, <laughs> I'm fed up with waiting when there's no food, uh, food, hardly any food left. So that's kind of uh, ironic. But yeah, so we're just gonna have to deal with uh, the kind of like. Setback, I suppose you can say, since it didn't save yesterday. I was really hoping it would auto save. I mean, not even hope. I was really, uh, I was really, I was certain that it would auto, it would auto save, but it didn't. Which it, it's not, it's not the end of the world. But you know, it would have been way better if it did auto save. Now, as you can see, the checkout line is actually kind of small. We have a lot of customers. We're getting a lot of customers, but we might need to build. Uh, we might need to buy this land over here soon again, which is like one grand, and we didn't have that right now. So we're gonna have to keep on uh, this. We're gonna have to keep on getting the store to run. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and buy the hats because I remember doing that last time. So you buy six for sixty, and then sell four hundred twenty. So basically, what you're doing is selling for like tr uh, double the price. We're gonna order three, and then put them in. We have five hats? Okay. So that's like, that's a lot of money right there. It's like $120 a hat. Really good. We might need to buy food, more food. Now we have two iPhones remaining. We sold one. Now this person just bought pies. So we need frozen food and normal food. Okay, we're going to go ahead and... We're going to go ahead and buy some normal food. See how much it costs. I think food is like, like for food you buy for twenty dollars and then sell for forty. So it's not the best, but I think this is what people buy the most. So we're gonna go ahead and buy. I'm not gonna buy too much. We're gonna buy about like ten. I think ten should be fine to keep the business going. And then we we'll buy frozen food. We we'll buy another ten of these. Oh, we can't afford it. No. Okay, we'll buy like four of these since it's the only thing we can afford. What a hold this place is, yes man, I've heard that before, perfectly fun. Let's go ahead and uh, restock our frozen foods. So we can put like five sodas in. Uh, can we put food in? So oh, okay, so we can only sell one of the two. We'll sell, we'll sell the sodas afterwards, um, that should be fine. There we go, now we have a lot of fruit, we have like, yeah, it's moderate, moderately packed. Let's go ahead to the normal food. We have 14 in supply, which is really good for us right now since we can actually start selling more. Okay, we're going to arrest this robber. We don't really need him in our store. If that works, hopefully it does. I mean, I'm lagging quite badly, to be honest. Alright, there we go. <clears throat> so now we have, we're good on food, we're good on hats, we're good on toys. We're decent on the smartphones we have, and we're decent on frozen food. So we can pretty much relax, wait for the customers to come in. Buy everything and then upgrade our store from then. <coughs> Let while we're waiting, let's go ahead and check out this these other stores. 
Now it looks like, yeah, this guy is like destroying everything. In his store. I don't I have no idea what for. Maybe he's redoing it. It's actually like really interesting to see how much money. He has two million dollars, so I'm basically nothing is getting bad gonna happen to his store. I'm gonna help him clean up the spill right here. Because I'm nice and everything. So yeah, he's he's technically done with the stores. He's gonna probably like remove everything. As I said, he had two million dollars, so he can do whatever the hell he wants. I'm, I don't know how he got that money, man. I mean, you can buy cash, but it's like kind of expensive for 100 grand. Now right, let's go ahead and check out these smaller stores. This guy does not even have a front entrance. Uh, that's that's quite interesting. No front entrance. He's on the cashier himself. And this guy, this guy is like bro. No storage racks to use. Well, yeah, it's kind of like a dead store. How much money does he have? He's Jopu. He has like, oh, he's actually more rich than me. God damn. Okay, so it seems like <clears throat> we're the cheapest. Oh, Provinka's the cheapest person in the server. How do you manage to go get to negative? Um, how do you manage to get to a negative number in, in the game? Oh, how do you get people to wear the T-shirt like that? That's actually pretty cool. Oh, they're the workers, yeah, there's like a pin I think they have to wear. So this guy is like still removing things over there. We still have the red banner, we're not removing the red banner anytime. Mainly because <clears throat> the red banner is what makes our store so unique. Okay, so we're gonna go back now, maybe we're gonna be upgrading the... I might save up to upgrade the parking lot. Now the robber is gonna get arrested here. Look at all the things I can't afford. <laughs> Well, if you can't afford, you're gonna have to put him back, man. <clears throat> so we still have like a lot of toys. I don't know why I bought so many toys in the first place. We still have, we're like packed. No one's bought any frozen food. No one's bought any hats. I'm pretty sure people, yeah, people bought normal food though. So, oh, there's a little kid. He might actually buy some toys. I hope he does. Our store rating is actually pretty good, so we should be getting higher traffic. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and check if we can actually upgrade. So how do we do that? I forgot again. Upgrade. Here we go. Great parking lot and two thousand five hundred dollars. Oh my god, that's a lot of money. Twenty five hundred dollars is a lot of money for me. It is anyway. Like right now, I think that's like way too expensive. Actually, this, yeah, that's like way too expensive. Plus, all this lag is not helping it. Like, oh my god, it's like a mess right now. If I only had faster internet connection, man. That would be amazing. What is this? Look, it says Tycoon saved, but if it saved, it would have saved from yesterday. That's so annoying. I have to come over here, click save current store, and then say yes, and then it saves Tycoon. It's pretty annoying, but you know, we have to do what we have to do. I'm going to change my name from um, Walmart to like something more authentic. I'm going to do... Um... I'm going to name my store The Red Review. I like that name. Ah, uh, how do I do that? And I'm going to change this to red, obviously. There we go. Does that change the name? Red Review? Yeah, it does. Let's go. Alright, so this looks actually pretty cool. People are buying things. My cash isn't going up for some reason, though. I don't know why this thing says getting started. Very interesting what's going happening right now. Okay, so we're going to need to buy... Okay, finally our money goes up. People actually... This thing is taking so, so, so long, but... Slowly it's working out. Slowly and eventually. Also guys, if you want me to do this, like, innovation event... To get the Roblox... Or Robux Blaster... Then I actually will, but I don't know if you guys want to see it. If you guys want to see it, then uh, leave a comment or a like, and I'll be sure to do it. 
I mean, my channel right now is not that big, so I didn't have that many people, like, too interested in my channel, but I know there's, like, a couple of you guys that, like, uh, have an eager to see what's happening with my channel, which I really appreciate you guys for, so, yeah, thanks for that. So, let's go ahead and go back to the story. We're still on 315. It's, like, it's, like not going up at all. Our frozen food is, like, hardly selling. The toys are, like, not selling, like, at all. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I need to wait for the toys. After the toy seller, I'm not going to buy any more. This kid should be buying toys, but he's not. Which is really annoying. Alright, so our cash just went up. Look how slow that is. Oh my god. Okay, $405. What can I buy for 405 No one's buying any like smartphones or anything. Maybe we can... Maybe if we get like an upgrade for our store sign. I, don't, I think that makes more people come to your sh sh store, I think. I'm not sure though. I would love to see what would happen. I didn't find anything I want. Man, all these toys, and you don't want a single one of them. Alright guys, now we're back. We're almost on about 500 cash, which is really good for us because we can actually start to finally upgrade things. Now this guy just has a bunch of cash registers. Oh my god, what is he doing? How, what is this what is this man doing? That's like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, sixteen. This is this guy spending like about one grand every minute on people like for cash. Cash uh, what am I saying? On um register workers. So let's go back to our store. $485. I think this should put us over five hundred, hopefully. Yeah, I'm almost certain it will. Now do these guys have a kid? Yes, they have two kids. If these kids don't buy any toys, I'm actually gonna... Oh, I don't know. I'm the, the one, number one thing you shouldn't buy is the toys. They don't seem to be... They don't seem to sell out, like, at all. <clears throat> so, I think if we buy, like, jewelry, it would take a long time to sell. I think, I think soda would be the fastest thing to sell out, to be honest. Candy... And like, I don't think books would sell, I mean, who would be interested in books? This is the thing we need to buy if we want to do this innovation thing. It, it will actually be kind of hard, to be honest. It wouldn't be the, easy, it wouldn't be the easiest thing, but it would be worth it. I'm really interested in the game right now, I don't know why. And randomly, I just started to play the game. And it just, yeah, I just want to play it a lot more. Anyways, moving on, let's go ahead and... <clears throat> See what else we can buy. Okay, so we're doing well. Yeah, these kids need to buy something, man. If they don't buy anything, I'm gonna really start judging how well toys actually do. I mean, toys, in my opinion, should be selling every time a new kid comes in. I think only two toys have been sold in the span of this entire time, but you know what? You have to learn from your mistakes. So this guy's buying something. Oh, he bought a toy. No way. <laughs> there we go. It's amazing, he also bought some frozen food. How are we doing on frozen food? Okay, frozen food seems to be selling out. So it has normal food, and my hats are selling as well. So these three things there are doing amazing. Things like smartphones and toys don't seem to be doing. They don't seem to be doing that much. <clears throat> yeah, I might just move this here. Right, and then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna build not build, I'm gonna furnish uh, this this part with a... <clears throat> I think I'm gonna buy a clothing rack, because if a lot of girls come in, they buy like clothes or car parts. Alright, let's check what sells for better. Let's see what costs cheaper and sells for more. Shoes? No, I don't think they're going to clothing rack. Yeah, clothing sells apply for 40, sells for 80. But um car parts buy for 60, sells so for 120. I think car I mean I think I'm just gonna buy car parts. I think that's actually better than clothing. I'm not sure though. But I'm just gonna go with car parts because that's what I'm more used to. So we're at $875, that's amazing. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh Yeah, we're gonna do what I just said. We're gonna build a rack. Put that thing there. 
<clears throat> and then that should be able to hold like up like all this car crap we're gonna buy like we can't buy if we can't afford 10 we'll buy five though or 360 so now we're really low on money oh my god and restocking should be pretty good now we have like five car parts and if these all sell we'll make a pretty decent profit so you know we're pretty we're pretty stacked on everything it's really going well for us it's like hats So yeah, it's like a neat small store, you know? Nothing that... Nothing too much people would have to worry about. I might have to put like something in the middle. Like, a, I might just buy like a clothes rack and put it in the middle, to be honest. There won't be enough uh, free room. But the money, I think, will increase a lot more. So this guy's like taking 10 years just to buy a freaking watermelon. <laughs> like, man, come on. So it is not selling right now. Okay, food is selling. The toys, I've been in there. For, the toys have been there for like ages now. I might just buy like another rack of uh, food, to be honest. Once the toys finish selling out, they ever do. Hats, like they the hats always like seem to like pull through. Now the line's actually pretty long. I think that's actually a good thing because like now, oh, there's the iPhone. So get ready for my cash to like jump up like two hundred dollars or like. 900 oh my god that was amazing so we're on 955 dollars now almost at 1000 2500 is where we can finally upgrade i think we're gonna buy a bigger sign i think a bigger sign makes for yeah attracts more customers okay so i think we're just gonna build a bigger sign because that just that seems the, that seems the most like smart thing to do to be honest. Plus it's one thousand with five cash off, so we're gonna buy the sign. We're gonna end this episode. So guys, that's gonna be it. If this manages to if if people manage to buy something. Okay, once these eggs go through, guys, very much. Okay, there we go. One thousand forty-five dollars. That's a lot of money for me right now. We're gonna go ahead and. Save, as I said before, we're gonna go and save for slot one. Yes. Okay, there we go. There we go. That should finish uh, saving. Thousand forty-five, and now we're gonna go ahead and upgrade our sign. Guys, ready for this? Purchase. Yes, one thousand. Now we're broke officially. Red review. Ooh, that looks pretty nice. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for today's uh, retail tycoon episode. If you guys enjoyed, then please leave a like. If you guys want to see more content like this, then please subscribe. That's gonna be it. Peace.